be a centre of attention as well. <laughs> and a very happy 105th birthday tomorrow, Dolly, won't you? Have a lovely day and enjoy a large glass of yes, sherry if I'm you. <laughs> Go on. That's uh, on to the weather then, Alexis, and yes. a bit of rain coming. There is some rain. It could be heavy at times. Let's take a look at your pictures. Laura Reddick captured this happy seal in Weymouth. John Burgess photographed uh, Waddeston Manor under cloudy skies in Buckinghamshire. And John and Jean took this shot of a fisherman in Selsey in West Sussex. Through the course of today, we've had a good deal of cloud. There have been some outbreaks of rain, which have been heavy from time to time and some drier periods as well. Now, today we've had this area of low pressure. Tomorrow it sinks its way southwards, but then it makes a return come Friday. We do have various weather fronts tomorrow, but this area of rain we're keeping a close eye on because it could be quite heavy, persistent, torrential in a few places, and embedded in that will be a number of thunderstorms moving northwards during Friday daytime. So today we've had a good deal of cloud. This weather watcher picture was captured in Portsmouth earlier on today. We'll have similar scenes to start the day tomorrow, but it should start to brighten up in many places. So possibly more in the way of sunshine tomorrow than today. And we'll have a lot of rain or showers in some places. It will be quite a breezy day, that breeze increasing through the course of the day. Overnight tonight, we are expecting a number of showers, some outbreaks of rain from time to time. There will be some clear spells for some, but generally a lot of cloud across the board. And temperatures will fall just into single figures in most places, remaining in double figures of 10 to 12 degrees. So tomorrow we could see a number of sharp showers brought in on a brisk breeze from the east or the northeast. They could be heavy, they could be thundery in a few places. They should move fairly swiftly through on that brisk breeze and we'll start to see some sunny spells develop behind. Temperatures tomorrow will be up to around 18, possibly 19 Celsius, a little bit warmer than today in some places. So feeling pleasant in the sunshine, but with that breeze that will certainly take the edge off the temperatures. On the inshore waters tomorrow, the winds are east or northeast, five to seven. The visibility is mainly good, becoming moderate or poor later. So further thunderstorms are possible tomorrow night. They should gradually ease during the early hours of Thursday, Friday morning, in fact. And Friday, we start the day on a fairly dry note in many places. Temperatures tomorrow night down to around 12, possibly 13 degrees. But Friday's another windy day. We could have wind, gu wind gusts of between 30 and 35 miles per hour, even for inland areas. So Friday, we'll see that band of rain slowly working its way northwards across the region. Some torrential downpours in places. Chance of thunderstorms, hail, thunder and lightning on the cars. Saturday and Sunday, maybe the odd thunderstorm here and there. Sally. Thanks, Alexis. The main national headline for you tonight, Boris Johnson announces a further easing of the lockdown in England. From Saturday, anyone living alone can enter one other household and stay the night. Tomorrow night, uh, we'll be in Wiltshire. I'll be live from Stonehenge on a special programme on tourism as we look at... Uh, how the industry has coped in this pandemic. Join me tomorrow night at half past six if you possibly can. Uh, that's it from us. Good night. Good night.